How's it going everyone? Toy Hunter Fusion here, back with another video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be looking and unboxing. We're going to be looking at the Marvel Legends series Deadpool from the Build-A-Figure Juggernaut Wave. Let's take a look at the box. So Deadpool is probably one of the rarest figures in the Build-A-Figure Juggernaut Wave, besides the Wolverine figure, which a reveal will be coming up soon. And this is just a great figure. Uh, we haven't gotten a good Marvel Legends Deadpool figure in a while. So here, I'll let you guys look at the the bio for Deadpool. That's on the pause right there. And then here, it says Deadpool right there. It says I date me. A little bit of Spanish with a taco. Here are all the other fi figures in this wave. I'm currently looking for Cable. Um, the rest I can pretty much find everywhere else besides maybe Rogue. She might be hard to find but because I really want this wave. Juggernaut build a figure actually interests me. And it's actually one of the, um, the build a figure waves or just waves in general that I actually really want to complete and actually just don't want to complete just to get the builder figure because each figure is actually pretty good besides the Phoenix one I've heard. So we have another picture of Deadpool. And back to him. Um, other than that, let's get right into the unboxing. Alright, so here is the Marvel Legends Deadpool out of the packaging. And after uh, posing this around for a little while, I can definitely, definitely agree with all the other reviewers, toy hunters out there, that this is an amazing figure. Definitely one of the best Deadpool figures we have gotten to date. Uh, definitely doesn't compare to the Hot Toys and stuff, not like that. But as far as like basic figure wise, it is definitely, definitely a great figure. So for all the accessories, um, he comes with this uh, shotgun thing, I guess. Um, so that's pretty cool. He comes with his taco signature, signature for Deadpool. Sorry, I can't really, thumbs are really making it look small. Then he comes with the Second head, the Wade Wilson head. Let's get a focus on that. Which you can take Deadpool's head off and put Wade's head on. It takes a minute. You have to wait to hear the click. And then, so there's Wade Wilson's head. Really, really awesome. And he's still got the same facial expression. If you look, still got the one eyebrow pointed up and the other eyebrow lowered. He comes with this gun. I don't know what this is. Salt rifle or something like that. Doesn't really look real. Kind of like the shot. This shotgun kind of does. But this just looks something straight out of like comics or something. Of course, he comes with his signature katanas, which you can put on his hands. And his hands are great because you can put the what every weapon you can put on his hands, and it's they're like it's awesome. I don't I don't know how to describe them. They're like multi format hands. It's cool. Here in the back we have his bazooka, which you can take off and also put on Deadpool, but let's we'll get to that later. He also has the uh, the places where he holds his katanas, and he has great, great posability. Such a great Marvel Legends figure. He has the belt. You can put the pistols on the belt, and you can also put the pistol here. You can put his knife here, which you can take. All these you can take off and put them on his hands. Here's the pistol. It's stuck in there. No, it's not. I got it. Here's the pistol, it comes to two of those, two of the katanas. And again, let's look at the rocket, the rocket launcher, or the bazooka, as you like, if you guys want to call it that. It's a great, great rocket launcher mold. Um, I would have liked some detail, but again, this is just such a great figure that I, I didn't have that many complaints. Um, it's really kind of hard to make him, I guess, look like he's aiming in, so I guess that's my only complaint about that. You also have the little boxing glove that you can put on. So that's also really comedic, especially since it's a Deadpool figure. It's kind of a requirement for a Deadpool figure. You have to make it at least a little comedic. So I'm also making him look really badass as well. So very much a lot of posability with the figure. He has leg movement, both sides. Here's the, uh, these new shin pads. This is the Bucky Cat mold, I believe. Yeah. Um, leg movement, ankle movement, both sides. Um... I don't believe he has double jointed elbows, hand movement, arm movement, classic, classic Marvel Legends articulation, and just a great figure because uh, the paint is unbelievable on this figure as well. They got the coloring so right for Deadpool. It's amazing. Uh, so I'm going to come back with you guys, showing off a little, a few more poses for Deadpool and comparing him to other Marvel Legends figures. We'll be back with you then.
And here is Deadpool compared to the All-Father Build-A-Figure Wave Thor, the Ironmonger Build-A-Figure Wave Ultron, and the Pizza Spider-Man. Of course, <laughs> none of these figures will be as tall or as bulky as the All-Father Thor. <laughs> it's just still a crazy figure they've made. Um, let's get into the articulation next. So, as far as articulation, it is great on this Deadpool figure. Probably one of the most articulated um, Deadpool figures we've got, and probably one of the most articulated Marvel Legends figures, in my opinion. Or, I don't have that many Marvel Legends figures out of the box. I'm starting to get into opening them and actually like posing them. Most of my Marvel Legends are actually in box, so if you guys want to see some reviews on some um, older figures that I have from like... 2014, 2013, before they re decide to reboot everything, definitely leave a comment in the comment section below. So let's start from the legs. He has some great leg uh, movement pivot right there. Um, these are new shin pads, so that's great. They added them onto the Bucky Cat mold. Of course, you can move the leg and then the ankle movement. It's all great. Move the chest. You just have to move the belt down a little bit so you can move the chest side to side. It's kind of hard to move a little since you have the katana um, holsters or holder holders um, in the back. Arm movement is great. Hand movement is okay. I have a little problem with the hands as sometimes the sword will slip out and I won't be able to fit um, some of his weapons in there. It's just a problem. It's only for the left hand. The right hand's fine. Uh, it's great. Here we have the biceps. He can't, again, he can't move all the way back since, again, the katanas are there. Arms, neck movement is great. You can look almost, yep, pretty much all the way up there. <laughs> Looks so much up that his head falls off. Um, can't really move his neck. It's kind of stiff unless you do this. Thing, but you can't really move it like, get him to do kind of like a, his head is kind of tilting sideways. Can't really do that. You can look all the way down. Let's get focus in the back. Got that Deadpool butt. <laughs> and uh, there's a little peg right there where you can stick the rocket launcher in there. Again, here's just a look at the back of the figure. Get a look at the front. Just, just a great figure. I give this a 10 out of 10. One of the best Marvel Legends, if not the best Marvel Legend of... Uh, ugh, excuse me, one of the best Marvel Legends of 2016, and definitely one of the best Marvel Legends of all time. So, let's get, let's uh, see a few more poses from Deadpool, and then we'll close off the video. So, thank you guys for watching today's video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more Marvel Legends, and toy unboxings, and hunts. Other than that, guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.